Hi and welcome to this video on how to set up your Exchange 2019 mailbox in Outlook 2016 for Windows. So I'm logged into uh, a Windows machine here, it's a Windows server and I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways of adding this mailbox. So the first way is if you've already got an existing profile in Outlook that has Pop or IMAP mailboxes uh, we're going to go ahead and add it through there. So at the moment this is my profile and I've got an IMAP mailbox there. And to add a new one, we're going to go to File and Add Account. Uh, I will just quickly show you the other way at the start because the process for actually adding the mailbox is the same for both. It's just how you get to that screen. If you've got no profiles whatsoever, as soon as you open Outlook, it's going to prompt you to create a new one anyway. So uh, again, you'll get there that way. But if you already have a profile that contains another Exchange mailbox, you will need to create a new profile. And to do that, we just go to Start Menu and go to Control Panel. Make sure you're viewing by uh, large icons or small icons, but in order to make this mail item here appear, I'll just go ahead. I just need to close that because otherwise it might cause a problem. And we're going to go to show profiles. And that's my existing profile that I just showed you with my IMAP mailbox. We can add, create a new profile, uh, hosted exchange. And this is the screen you're going to sh see in a minute as I add my uh, mailbox to my existing profile. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and open Outlook back up. That's okay. So back into Outlook and we'll go to File and Add Account. So you recognize that screen from just a minute ago and we're going to go ahead and set up the mailbox. First thing that's worth noting before we get too far into this process is that your auto discover records are going to need to be correct for your domain uh, for your Exchange 2019 mailboxes to be able to automatically connect to the server and pull your uh, server settings. If you've got your fast hosts, if you've got your fast host domain using our name servers, then it's going to be fine. We'll automatically create those records automatically. If you're using an external name servers for your domain, you're going to need to go and add those records manually. And I'll add a guide in the description that shows you which records you would need to use, because it does depend on what other kind of exchange mailboxes you have on that domain. Because we've got Exchange 2013, 19, and Professional. If you I have no idea what I was talking about with DNS is you probably don't need to worry about it because you're probably using the fastest name servers. If you have any problems, contact support, that's what we're here for. So let's go ahead and add this mailbox now. So your name, uh, your email address is going to be the mailbox you try and set up. So I'm going to set up exchange2019 at fhexample.co.uk. And then enter your mailbox password twice. Once you've entered all those, just go ahead and click next. And at this point, it's going to go and try to find this the auto discover settings for this mailbox. This can take a few minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut there and I'll restart the video when there's something worth talking about. Okay, so this is going to be the next bit we see, which is just a Microsoft Outlook warning saying that a server, an external server, external website is trying to manage the settings for the mailbox. Perfectly fine, it's to be expected, it's just the auto discover record finding the settings for the mailbox. Now I've got exchange2019.livemail.co.uk here. You might see something different when you're setting it up. The important part is it's .livemail.co.uk there. Uh, all of the auto discover records will have that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. And then it's going to ask you for your password. So let's go ahead and enter that. I'm going to go ahead and click remember my credentials so it doesn't keep popping up. Now this is, you might not want to do that if you're using a shared machine, uh, but this is just my own private one. So go click and there we go. That has got everything set up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. And I've got a restart Outlook as to be expected. But that's it. We're all set up and ready to go. And as soon as I restart Outlook, that's going to be uh, shown in that pane there. And that's all there is to it. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.